Hello and welcome back to the podcast. Today I'm really excited to share with you my NLP immersion experience. So for the last six months from January 2024 to June 2024, I've been in a NLP certification program and this past weekend I spent eight hours on Friday, eight hours on Saturday, and seven hours on Sunday with an hour and a half on Monday to get my NLP certification and it was nuts. I'm going to outline the entire weekend. I'm going to outline the NLP strategies and modalities that we practice that I am going to be using with my clients. And I'm also going to talk about how these strategies are relevant in your finances. So basically, first things first, let's go into the immersion experience. It was exhausting. It was so extremely mentally exhausting and overwhelming. And I found myself still showing up every single day. There was only one day that I had to cut it short because I had to go pick up my daughter or my mom because my mom was watching her the entire weekend. And it started early on Friday, 10 a.m. early. It started at 10 a.m. and we wrapped up on Friday at 6 And then we started again on Saturday at 10 and we wrapped up a little later than that. It was 6.30 on Saturday and then we started at 10 a.m. on Sunday and I I hopped off at 4.30 so I could go pick up Penelope. We went over legit everything from the beginning of the course up until most recently. And we also went over some strategies and modalities that we did not get the opportunity to practice. And so we spent majority of the time practicing those strategies. So we went over creating achievable outcomes. We went over some of the masterful language patterns. We went over some modalities. We went over switch pattern. We went over mapping across. We went over parts integration. We went over single belief change, the whole gamut of practices methods and strategies that we can use to help support clients in changing their beliefs. And then we wound up going through a tapping because all of us were insanely exhausted. And then we wound up going through a like a little introductory to flip the script techniques. So flip the script is really cool. And flip the script is where you could get in touch with your timeline and you can reinstall beliefs that will support you going forward. So essentially, let's just say, for instance, you have a limiting belief around um, like doubt. Okay. Like for example, I doubt that I can make $5 in the next 20 minutes. And what you would do is you would go into flip the script techniques and you get in touch with your timeline and you would ask where the root of that decision comes from. And I, as the NLP practitioner, help to facilitate a efficient and cleanly experience when it comes to getting in touch with your timeline and getting to the root cause of that. And It's really a cool experience. I wound up going through the exercise myself because we were, you know, practicing on each other and I wound up going through the experience myself and it was insane. I released an emotion from two generations ago. You can do past like past life work with this and you could do generational work with this and you could go as far back as seven generations or you could go as far forward as seven generations which is insanely cool so it's kind of like time travel but it's not <laughs> so it was it i mean it is it was really cool and it helped me release something that i didn't even know i had within me i didn't even know i was holding on to and then After we went over the flip the script techniques, we went into hypnoses and we went into subliminals and how to put those together for our clients. When you work with me for a succession bundle or as a one-on-one client, then you get personalized, individualized hypnoses and subliminals to help support you for your exact goals to get you where you want to go. And the cool part is that they are specific to you. 
because everybody's internal representation is different. Everybody's vision is different the way that they want to achieve success. And so the best way for me to help my clients is to get their vision, to get their internal representation and to provide them with that information in a digestible format, subliminals and hypnoses. So we went over how to structure the subliminals and the hypnoses so that you could get your best transformation. So that was the immersion experience. It was a lot. It was emotionally exhausting. It was emotionally overwhelming. There was a day where I was rubbing my eyes and I couldn't stop because the cat was all over me that morning. It was it was a rough time. Sunday morning was a rough time. And we made it through. So that leads me to how all of these things play in with your financial story. Now, let's just go back to flip the script for a second because I was talking about it in terms of a limiting decision around doubt. The limiting decisions, the limiting beliefs that you might have around your money are going to come up and they might come up in comparison or doubt or we call it negation, like negative beliefs about your financial situation. And by going through flip the script techniques, you can flip the script on your financial stories, which is insanely cool. And so oftentimes when I'm doing these market research calls with neurodivergent entrepreneurs who are in my world, there are things that are said such as, I don't want to feel icky when I go to make sales, or I feel bound to debt, or how could I possibly call myself a business owner when I'm not generating any revenue? And those are those are tied with stories that you have about yourself and your finances. And they're also tied with beliefs and emotions that you have around money. And by going through these strategies and some modalities, these NLP work, you can start to literally rewrite all of it. I just got a text message from one of the clients that I have and she less than two months ago, okay, less than two, like I'm talking six weeks ago, she was at a place where she was defeated. She legitimately said, I do not have a business. And she just sent me a text message 21 minutes ago and she said, my date for my membership launch is July 1st and my start date is the 17th. What? In less than three months, she went from defeat, hopelessness, no business, no programs, no nothing, to building out a membership, starting to fill it with content, putting it on the calendar, and getting ready to launch so that she can start to help her people. That's insane. It's a complete identity shift from six weeks ago. That is nuts. And it is because we've been working on her stories. We've been working on her mindset. We've been working on the emotions that are tied in with these things. I gave her an EFT tapping. It was a very immersive experience. We even went over her astrology and her human design and how that plays in with her mindset and with where she is and what she experiences. It was a really practical tool in terms of coming up with the content that I needed to come up with to support her in getting her where she's looking to go for her business. We talked about pricing after that. We talked about how many signups we're looking for, conversion rate, you know, of the group that she has. If let's just say, a half of a percent converts. Here's what you can look at, right? It's been such a wild ride. And it's because she has been open to using NLP to get her mindset in a supportive place. That was one of the biggest things that happened to me today. It was 824 in the morning. I'm on the phone with Tommy. Hey, Tommy, what problem do you think I solved? I've been coming back to it today because today was the day that I, (laughs) today was the day that the universe gave it to me. 
The problem that I solve is helping entrepreneurs to transform their financial blueprint so that they have a supportive financial blueprint so that they can achieve the entrepreneurial goals they have for themselves. I have done some pretty incredible things. I've paid off over $25,000 in credit card debt. To date, it's actually over thirty two grand. It was twenty five thousand in a year. I have over sixty five thousand dollars set aside in investments. <laughs> I have so much going for me, and it didn't click for me until I started to implement these tools. That speaks to the importance of rewiring your mindset. And the thing that really blows my mind is that I've been using these tools actually since I was in college. And it was because I was using them for crew. I was using them for crew. I was able to win a national championship medal in 2019 after an undefeated season of races. That is very rare in the sport of crew. I was visualizing the race since probably when I came home from living abroad in Europe, in the Czech Republic. It's been so long. If I think about the entirety of the season, sure, the season started in June, May or June, and it went until August. And I got back from Prague, September of 2018, and it wasn't until August of 2019, nearly a year later, that I actually wound up getting on the podium winning a gold medal. I was using those strategies the entire time. I just didn't realize it. Visualization is a huge part of it. That was the main strategy that I was using in 2018 and 2019. I'm still using that strategy now, and I'm using it in a way that I can pair it with these other tools, subliminals, hypnosis, tapping, parts integration, flip the script. I have so many tools in my toolbox and I'm excited to help other entrepreneurs to start to change their realities. This one client is literally making me so insanely proud. It was, it was so sad to see her in April just in such a bad place. And here we are in June and she's entirely flipped around. She's putting out consistent content. She actually put up a Facebook live today about setting a date. And I went nuts. I sent her a message. I was like, oh my God, wait a second. Did you set a date? And she gave me the deets. And I was like, yes, fuck yes. These tools can change your reality if you let them. I'm going to let you sit with that. I'm going to let you marinate with it. It has been such an awesome time recording today. I hope that you have a very awesome takeaway that you share with me over on Instagram or TikTok or wherever it is that you are on social media. I would love it if you take a screenshot and tag me in it. And if you're new and you are just tuning in to the podcast, subscribe. We have so much more transformation coming. I have so many guests lined up. I'm really excited to bring these guest interviews to you and to my listeners, my community. It is going to be insane. This year has been such a transformative year and I cannot wait to continue to see where it goes. I want to thank you for tuning in and I will talk to you very soon.